Welcome to season two of the Learn and Trade Forex podcast. Where your financial journey transforms into a trading adventure with your host, Gary Phillips, author of Trade Your Personality, bringing you the ins and outs of the Forex market. Here we dive deep into the currents of currency trading from basic concepts for our newcomers to advanced strategies for the seasoned traders. Drawn from Gary's book, we'll explore how aligning trade strategies with your personality can significantly enhance your trading experience. Each episode is packed with Forex insights and real-world trading scenarios to guide you through the complexities of the Forex market. And if you're looking to take your trading to the next level, visit us at www.learnandtradeforex.com for one-on-one sessions. So buckle up and let's embark on this journey together. Let's decode the markets, unlock your trading potential, and discover how your unique personality can be your greatest asset in Forex trading. Welcome aboard with Learn and Trade Forex. Welcome back to the Learn and Trade Forex podcast. I'm your host, Gary Phillips. Today, we're diving deep into a crucial topic for every trader, the art and science of setting effective stop loss orders. Understanding how to place stop losses correctly is not just about reducing risks. It's about enhancing your trading strategy, optimizing performance, and maintaining your peace of mind in the volatile world of Forex trading. What is a stop loss order? A stop loss order is an order placed with a broker to buy or sell a security when it reaches a certain price. It is designed to limit an investor's loss on a position in a security. While it may seem simple, the decision of where to place a stop loss order is complex and multifaceted. The importance of stop loss orders. The primary function of a stop loss is to prevent substantial losses. It's like an insurance policy against unfavorable market moves. But beyond limiting potential losses, stop loss orders can help manage psychological pressure by providing a pre-planned exit point for a trade, thereby removing emotion-driven decisions from the trading process. The basics of setting a stop loss. When setting a stop loss, there are several strategies traders can consider. Percentage stop. This is one of the simplest approaches where you set the stop loss at a specific percentage below the price at which you bought the stock or entered the trade. For instance, if you're willing to risk 2% of your trade, you set your stop loss order 2% below your entry point. Volatility. Stop. This method involves using a volatility indicator like the average true range, ATR, to set a stop loss based on market volatility. A higher ATR indicates a more volatile market, so a wider stop might be necessary to avoid being prematurely stopped out of your position. Technical stops. Based on technical analysis, this strategy uses chart patterns such as support and resistance levels or trend lines to determine stop loss placements. For example, if you buy near a support level, placing a stop loss just below that support can limit your losses if the support level fails. Time stops. A time-based stop loss strategy involves exiting a position after a set period if the expected move doesn't occur. This is particularly useful for trades that are meant to capitalize on events like earnings reports or economic announcements. Advanced considerations in stop loss placement. Role of risk tolerance. Understanding your risk tolerance is critical in setting appropriate stop loss orders. Every trader has different levels of comfort with risk, which should guide the tightness or looseness of their stop loss orders. 
Market conditions. Market conditions play a significant role in how you set your stop losses. In a highly volatile market, wider stops might be necessary to avoid the noise, while in a stable market, tighter stops can be effective. Psychological factors. The psychological comfort that comes with having a stop loss in place cannot be underestimated. Knowing that you have a maximum loss you can tolerate helps maintain trading discipline and emotional control. Best practices for stop loss orders. Consistency is key. Apply stop loss orders consistently according to your trading plan. This helps in building a disciplined trading strategy. Avoid set and forget. Regularly review and if necessary, adjust your stop loss strategies based on new information or changes in the market environment. Use technology. Take advantage of trading tools and platforms that allow you to set complex types of stop orders like trailing stops, which adjust automatically as prices move favorably. Backtesting. Test your stop loss strategies using historical data. This helps in understanding how your approach would have performed in past market conditions, allowing you to adjust your strategy accordingly. In conclusion, stop loss orders are a fundamental part of risk management and trading. They not only help in managing the financial aspects of trading, but also play a crucial role in managing emotional aspects. A well-placed stop loss order ensures that a trader can survive in the market long enough to be successful. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode on stop loss placement. Keep learning, keep refining your strategies, and above all, stay disciplined. Until next time, this is Gary Phillips, wishing you successful trading. And that wraps up another episode of the Learn and Trade Forex podcast with your host, Gary Phillips. We hope today's insights illuminate your path in the Forex trading world and inspire you to explore new strategies with confidence. Remember, trading is a journey and we're here to guide you every step of the way. For personalized guidance, don't forget to book your one-on-one -on -one sessions at www.learnandtradeforex.com. Stay tuned for more episodes and until next time, keep analyzing, keep trading, and keep growing. Thank you for joining us at Learn and Trade Forex.